The next testifier. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Choosing people praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Brother Ikene Igwenago. I stay live at number 79 Oshodi Road. I want to thank God for a genuine salvation. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of Chosen. What actually prompted me to come out to share this testimony to us is the workers' meeting message we heard yesterday that the election might stand and our duty is to strike. Mm. I want to thank God for saving me from the hands of the ritualist. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of Chosen. It was one Thursday. I was coming down here for the Thursday counseling and deliverance service. I boarded the bus to Ijesha. And as we are heading to Ijesha, I we entered the bus. I was sitting now in the middle with a particular sister. And then as we are moving, before we get to charity bus stop, I saw a sign between the man at the front and the man that sat down very close to me. So I knew that I've entered a wrong bus. Um, I was trying to tell them that they should stop me in charity that I forgot something at home. They said because of the last man, they can't stop me and how I should get to Yanosolo. They will stop me there and I will do whatever I want to do. As we are heading to Yanosolo, I was in five star, I was seeing um, the bridge, um, Yanosolo bridge. That is where I remembered. That was the last thing I remembered. And the next thing that they were taking us, the next thing I saw myself because I was unconscious. I saw them moving us from that Lagos painted bus to another bus. So they were moving. I was now telling them that I was Omo Baba Ijesha. So they were now speaking Yoruba among themselves that who is Baba Ijesha. And they were now telling me that this person don't know what he's saying, that I'm, I'm high. So they put me inside the bus and they took us to the place of the slaughter. And when they took us there, they close our eyes in the day. We don't see the day. It's only the night that they open our eyes. So during the time of slaughter, they now said they should go and bring that boy that said that he's Omar Baba Ijesha. And they should bring him to this place. Because they don't bring people to that room of slaughter. I was the only one they brought in. Because I, I declared myself as Omar Baba Ijesha. So they brought me into that room. And the first person they slaughtered in my very own eyes was a little girl that was about 12 years old. She was, she was crying that, my, my mom, my mom, uh, please don't kill me. So they lied the girl down and cut off her head. For them to, for, they showed me those things for me to know that if Baba Ijesha is a native doctor, he's not going to save me here. I have been determined to die. So as well, you know, other people we are there before other victims we are there. In the bus we are entered, we are only four victims. The rest we are one of them. We are only four. That I was the victim in that bus that we entered. But other people were there before us. And before that time, they were speaking about before they brought me out for slaughter, they have shared us in group because somebody has paid for our head. And I say this one belongs to Alaji. This they were not mentioning names. They have paid for our heads. So when during the slaughter, they slaughtered a the young girl and a particular man. They now took me to my to my room. They tied me and tied my eyes. That is how it was going on and on and on. And there was a sister that the sister that boarded the bus with me was praying. Then you know I don't believe in the word of my pastor. Even okay. if I started you, you didn't believe the word of the pastor? Yes, sir. Okay. That if you declare yourself a choosing. Amen. Let's hear him now properly. That if you hear, if you encounter danger, because I used to hear testimonies, that if you encounter danger, you should declare yourself a choosing three times, and that danger will give way. So, so many testimonies of who will say that Amrabah came and tried to shoot them and they declared themselves a choosing and the bullet no walk. 
So I know I was doubting. I used to accept the prayer of our pastor and other things, but that one, I excluded them out of all the mystery of our pastor. I don't believe in it. I don't believe in that thing. And there was a testimony that was shared here during that period, during my doubting period. A man was saying that he was attacked by armed robber. And they were beating him and he was saying blood of Jesus, Jesus and all that. And our moderator said, why did you declare yourself a choosing? Immediately our moderator said that and I was just angry. I was saying in Jesus and I am a choosing. Which one is greater? That Jesus should be greater. Why is he saying that we should declare? So why is he saying that if God don't want to save that man, what is Jesus? And I am a Jesus higher than I am a choosing. So I was angry. I couldn't listen to that testimony again. And that's all. And God now brought me to encounter those people. And after that, there were the, the lady that was with me was actually praying, like speaking in tongues, because she's a member of Christ Embassy, according to how she, she shared her experience, that why she even entered that bus was because um, she was coming from, I think, Bagada side. And that same bus that she was supposed to, that she entered from Bagada was also going to my two. So there was no need for her to come down from that bus. But because of the recklessness of the driver, so she has to come down from that bus and enter the one. And that's why she was part of. Um, the, so she was praying. And when it got to her tongue, she was saying, I should pray. I said, I can't pray. There's there, there also, I can pray. Then what should I pray? There was no prayer point there. So she was praying and was speaking in tongues. When fear gripped me was when they slaughtered that sister. Even at the point of when she was praying and was speaking in tongues, they slaughtered her. So during my, before my, uh, it gets my turn, I saw the angel of my pastor. Hey! In a dream. Power! So the angel of my pastor said, I have been coming to this church for many years and I don't believe in his word. Hmm. That in his statement. And he said that he has come in previous generation, in the time of Moses, he came as the I am, as the God of Moses. And God delivered his people through the leadership of Moses. And he was calling so many prophets of old. Now he said, he's coming to this generation as the God of the choosing. Hey! Power! God. And he said, if he gets to my turn, I should just declare myself a choosing. And I will see God in action. Power! Hey, hey, hey. And when he, when, he got to my, when he got to my turn, you know, then it was a dwarf that was um, doing the slaughter. A very short man. So when he got to my turn, they have to change. They have to change to a huge man that will slaughter me. So when they now brought me out, they now say they should barb my, they should cut that, then I have hair. They now say they should cut my hair. Uh, maybe that is where my power <laughs> is. The man was now saying he has been in this business of killing people for so many years. And I am small for him. So when, when he was now dragging me, they are now dragging me to first and I say, I am a choosing. I am a choosing. I am a choosing. God of my pastor, where are you? <laughs> And immediately, there was a wide wind that lifted up that man three times. Power! And hit him on the ground. Hey, hey, hey! Hey, hey, hey! Oh, power! God of Joseph! God of Joseph! Upon to this great God, the I am that I am, the God of the pastor of chosen, the God of the chosen. Let's hear how it all ended. Continue now. Pay attention. So immediately I declare I'm a choosing. There was a wide wind. I Ooh. saw God life. Hey! And he lifted up that man three times and hit him on the floor. The man was now pleading that they should take me away. I should take me away, away from completely away from this camp. So a young boy, a normal person, you know all these people that slaughter people, they are just 
they might be your neighbor they might be your friend they might be you, they are, the boy is just looking he's not look like a killer he now brought me now to carry me to a particular place and dump me there you know i think i lasted there for four days without food without water so i was weak so i just lie down on the floor so a particular man now came and said what am i doing here and i said um, I, well, I was not trying to say tell him to now say you understand he now took me and now say where am i coming from i said i'm coming from Oshodi. now say i'm in choir state that's when i knew that i have not gone far away from lagos mm. so he now helped me now boarded, uh, now put me into a bus and they brought me down to lagos that is how I am, that is why you can see me here, here this morning, even in your presence as a choosing. Let us slowly appreciate the God of power, the God of chosen, the God of the pastor of chosen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of the chosen. Thank you, Lord. That is how the God of choosing saved me, mm. even in my doubt, and now. I have the boldness. I believe in everything my pastor say. And if you are here, you don't believe in the words of my pastor, you are not yet a choosing. <laughs> well, if you select a particular part only when he's praying for prosperity and praying for open doors, then we believe in him and other things that he says or the testimony we hear here in, in this place, we don't believe it, we doubt it, we try to make excuse on why this thing is not supposed to be. And you are not yet a choosing. For me now, I believe in every statement of my daddy because it comes to pass. Even in teaching yesterday, made us understand that we are a covenant church and we understand this ministry when he taught us in the workers meeting, I think last year, it says safety in the holy mountain. It also, related, it also related with what we heard even yesterday, telling us about the covenant, telling us why choosing is higher than every other church, telling us why choosing is the best church. Because there were, Abraham was not only the person in his, in his community, in his country, but God selected him out. Hmm. The same thing goes to Moses. He was not the only one, but God selected him out. All that prophet of old. Now in generation, God has selected this church. You might be saying, this church is better. This church, there's nothing wrong with this church. But the Lord's choosing is the best. Whether you like it or not, whether you believe it or not, I stand here to tell you that the Lord's choosing is the best. Mm. And there's no other church like the Lord's choosing. Mm. There's no other church where you can mention the name of your church and things will begin to happen. But in my church, I'll just declare that I'm a choosing and you things will begin to happen. Every kingdom will bow. Every power will give way. Just mention the name of my church. I, I encourage you, for those of you that are doubting the word of my pastor, I encourage you to stay. For those of you that are coming here for the first time and try to test and try to know whether this is a church. This is a church for the rapture. This is the mass of the Lord that is established on every other mountain. Just remain here. Don't move. And you will experience God's power in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. to pray for my dad in the Lord I wish I pray for him for heaven at last our mom in the Lord heaven at last the entire family the children heaven at last the Lord's choosing worldwide heaven at last choosing his first class Amen. Wait. This testimony is made afresh today, and it is for many people who do not know where they belong to. Well, you should know it so that you will not be destroyed like other ordinary people. Choosing people are not ordinary. Yes, amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. We'll 
never force anybody to believe us. But when there is a situation, you will believe us. Praise the Lord. When there is problem, you will believe us. So we don't beg people, we don't even make it as we don't emphasize it. I want to let you know that choosing is a unique church. And everybody in this church will know it so that you can continue to enjoy the covenant blessings. Praise the Lord. Wherever you go, wherever you go, whatever danger, tell them who you are. You will see our God standing on your side. So, he has given us life testimony of what happened to him. I was here, was right across this place, was right the vehicle, and the father and the mother ran to me and said their son had been missing for almost four days. And I prayed for them, showed them that he will be found, but they were crying. But before you know it, that is how he came to give us this testimony. He was released. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So, I want to all the people that had these testimonies of our covenant with God, let us continue to repeat it. it this testimony you gave today is not enough. Let's continue to give it because the house is not full. The people are still on the road. Let us continue to give this testimony when there is a full house. And all of you that had fantastic testimony of how you came here, how you collected gun from Ann Roma, how you are healed of cancer, HIV, how you are healed of hunchback or dwarf, that testimony must continue. How you are, you know, your womb was, your God gave you a new womb. Those things, we don't need to share it once and stop. Let's share it on and on and on until Jesus comes because they're going to do a lot in the life of people. Share testimony how you have a short leg and he put a withered leg and it, all of them began to walk. All that happened here is a generational thing. It is not something you share once and forget. As long as God has done it, we have had testimonies of people that God did visited in old, in the, in the Bible. And that's over 2,000 years ago. So why can't we share the testimony of what happened here in these 15 years? Let's share the testimonies that our generation might continue. Praise the Lord. That our election might start. May God bless you. Praise the Lord. You must have the confidence that God is the God of the chosen and that you are chosen. Praise the Lord. But well, our pastor has spoken on this matter, but it was also very clear to me, and that is we must believe the pastor in every area. Do you know that if he believed the pastor and acted on the instructions of the pastor, he would have also saved all the other people that were slain? He would have saved them because that's the instruction of the pastor. Stand in the gap, and uh, tell them they cannot do anything and they will not do other people and then you must say what the pastor said listen to that and so say I'm a chosen, I'm a chosen I'm a chosen you kidnapper, you are robber who are you? and if you become stuck, the God of my pastor where are you? our pastor said you will see something that is more than man hold on to it. don't doubt this place so that you will live and also make other people to live Praise the Lord. After this testifier, we will take our first offering in this morning session. So prepare for your offering, your tithe, your seed of faith, and everything that you want to use to bless the name of the Lord. The next testifier. Please make your choice. Choose and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Choose and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Daniel Nkemakolam Jacobs. I live in Olodia, Papa. I'm also a house care teacher in Olodi One. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of Jesus. Also, 
a chorister in the Lord's chosen. Thank you, Lord. Brethren, so many of us doesn't know where we are, but I have known. Amen. Amen. Moderator, permit me to sing this popular song to my brethren. Okay, do, but move fast in your testimony because of time. The God of chosen, you are so good. Verily, verily. Verily, verily, you are so good. Verily, verily. Immortal Redeemer, you are so great. Verily, verily. Oh Lord. Amen. Amen. Brethren, it all happened in the year 2003. I was in my former church. I was not a chosen. I was in one of these churches that was called End Time Pentecostal Mission. With a pastor I later met here as our pastor, Pastor Chinedu Bethel. Oh, the, the pastor of that your church? Yes. When you came here, you met him, he has also become a chosen. Yes. <laughs> Lord of chosen power. Thank you, Lord. Chosen, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When I was there, I was asking God, I want a church where they preach holiness and righteousness. Because my mother gave birth to me in the assemblies of God, where they do not wear wig, they don't wear wivon, they don't wear necklace. Then, so many years ago. Amen. Amen. So, with that spirit in me, I was searching for such a church. Until one day, there was a crash in the church. The original pastor of the church, a woman that gave power to Chinedu to operate as a pastor in the church, they had a problem. And that problem was not a problem because maybe the woman wanted Chinedu to leave. So I went back home. I was praying. I said, God, where do I go from here? In the night, brethren, I was in a dream. A pastor by name Pastor Zama, who later became chosen pastor also. <laughs> Taking over the world. Amen. Amen. In that dream, it was wonderful. He walked to me straight in my house and called me. Brother Daniel, I answered. He said, Come, let's go to the Lord chosen. I said, I have not heard about the Lord chosen. Where is it? What is it all about? He said, That is where God is now. Hmm. The God of the chosen. I looked at him with a black Bible, black trousers, white long sleeve, and a tie. I went into my house. I got dressed up. I followed him. We came to the old auditorium. Choosing in, brethren. In that dream or physically now? Was it in that dream? It was in the dream. It was in the dream. You followed him to old auditorium? Yes. Hmm. When we came, the place was jam-packed. I said, ah, what kind of crowd is this? He handed me over to an usher. The usher took me to the newcomer seat like this. I was seated. They brought the leaflet. I filled all my particulars and I handed over back to them. A voice called me, said, look down. I looked down. In between the chairs to the pulpit, I saw three seats, white plastic seats as it is now. I said, what is it? He said, God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Hmm. Brethren, I must be frank to you, I lost strength. I was imagining, in a dream, it was just like when you are in the physical. The voice told me again, look, I turned to my right. He said, look, I saw a man, an usher, holding a Bible, standing by the pillar. You know, we have so many pillars in there. When I saw him, he grew and became a giant, very tall and huge. I said, my God. Who is this man? 
A voice told me that when the workers resume in the morning, God turned them to angels. Who? God of choosing. Thank you, Father. Chosen, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Two men were seated at my back. Today I come to realize that they are twin brothers in our church here. So they were tapping my back because I was uncomfortable. The pastor had to leave his seat and walk straight to me to comfort me. I was telling him that I want to leave, that I'm very uncomfortable. The two men were touching me, telling me that I should hold on, that the pastor will soon mount the pulpit. That as soon as the pastor come to the pulpit, that my problem will be over. They never knew what I was passing through. I looked around in that dream. I looked around. I looked around. I was crying. He came again and told me to be seated, that everything will be over very soon. As you used to say, it was said, bow down your heads and pray. As I bowed down my head, I did not close my eyes. I used my hand like this to cover my face. I was looking in between to know what will happen. In that dream, so suddenly, the pastor came. He prayed a little prayer. As he was doing, saying that little prayer, my brethren, from here, and here was fire, a flame of fire. I stood up, I shouted. The man came to me again and comforted me. When hmm. pastor said amen, there was a lot of manifestations in the old auditorium. The people that were manifesting, their color was blue. So, the man came. As he came to me, I woke up. And all was in a dream. Hmm. I called my wife. We knelt down by the side of the bed. We prayed. I said, God, if this dream or revelation is a reality, Bring it to pass in Jesus' name. Amen. Just a short prayer. My children left in the morning. They went to school. My wife was washing outside. She will even testify to this. Though she's not here today. As she was washing, behold, she shouted and ran into the house. He said, Come, 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 come. I said, What is it? This is physical now. Yes, okay. physical. So I said, What is it? He said, That pastor last night in your dream has come to our house i opened the window i opened the curtain there was a protector i wanted to run because i've not imagined such a thing come to pass hey. i looked around there's, there was no place we had only two windows and the other window was facing him the man was standing outside you I saw dream. you saw the man too you saw the pastor too i saw the pastor physically standing on my door hey Power. Hey, hey. Go ahead now. Let us hear the conclusion of the matter. So I summoned courage. I looked at my body. I was wearing a boxer. I was wearing a t-shirt. My mind told me to open the door that this is physical. I touched my body. I looked around. I tried to convince myself that I was alive. Oh. Brethren. I opened the door for him to come in. The first word that came out of his mouth was, Brother Daniel, come, let's go to the Lord's chosen. Hey! Hey, hey, hey! Thank you, Father. Can we appreciate this great God, the mighty one in battle? Thank you, God of the chosen. Thank you, Lord. Hey! Amen! Amen! I said, Chosen, because already this dream I was filled with a lot of imaginations. I was thinking, I said, could this be a dream or what is happening? Am I alive? I he said, hurry up, let us go. That is where God is now. Confirming what he told me in the dream, I held my head. My wife looked at me and gave me a sign to dress up. I went in. I took my bath. He was waiting for me patiently, hey! going through his Bible in my parlor. After I took my bath, I dressed up. We came to the Lord chosen here. The old auditorium. When we came in, he handed me over to the usher. The process, exactly the same process that played in the dream began. Hey! When he handed me over, 
They gave me the leaflet. I filled all my particulars. I gave back to them. I sat down. The voice started. The voice called me to look down. I looked down. In between the chairs, in between the chairs to the pulpit. The same traces. I giraffed. I looked up this way. I said, God, could this be where you are living? Hey, I tried to look through the windows to know that this is in Ijesha. I tried to imagine where I was. Brethren, it was a wonderful situation. Hey! I turned to my right. He said, look, I saw a man standing by the pillar again, reading, holding his Bible, going, just flipping through the pages. He turned his neck and looked at me like this. He grew to a larger size. He became a giant. I shouted physically, my God! Hey! I created a scene. Even the twin brothers, they began to pet me again, began to calm me down. I said, no, I want to go. Pastor Zawamana walked to me again physically. When he came physically to me, he said, brother, why are you doing this? I said, Pastor Zawamana, I don't understand what is happening. Am I trying to run mad? Am I crazy? What is happening to me? He said, calm down, calm down. He calmed me down. I, I was giraffing, looking around where I was. It was exactly what I saw in the dream. Hey! A lot of testimonies was on just like this. After which, we were asked to bow down. I did the same thing. I just, you know, covered my face somehow. I was looking to confirm what I saw in the dream. Behold, the pastor came. My geo, my geo came. Said a little prayer. After a little prayer, he said, Amen. My God. When he was saying that prayer, I saw the same fire from his hand, from the, from the ribs here, to the head. It was flaming. I lost strength. I couldn't control it anymore. I stood up. I was turning around. I was looking for Pastor Zoma to take me away. He came to, you know, he counseled me. He beckoned on me. He said I should sit down. He came, instead of him to sit down, he walked to me straight again and told me, Brother, I told you this is the Lord choosing. Sit down. I sat down. Those, my brethren, the two twins, they were telling me to calm down. I sat down. I saw so many miracles. I saw so many things. Brethren, when I left, I went home. I told my wife all I saw. Behold, in the night, we prayed another prayer. Oh. When we prayed this prayer, I was asking, who is the God of choosing? There is something the last testifier before me said here. I confirm it is a reality. Choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When we prayed that short prayer, I slept in the dream. A crane, a very mighty crane, brought me to the old auditorium by the side there, where the generator is. When he brought me down, the first man I saw was Peter, the disciple of Jesus Christ, with a white hair. Hmm. Hmm. When I saw Peter, I called him Peter. He said, Brother Daniel, you are welcome to the kingdom. That there is a process. I said, what is the process again? He said, I should pick a bicycle. I pick up the bicycle, but I was murmuring. I was telling him, how can I ride a bicycle? He's suffering now. He said, it is all the process. I picked up the bicycle. I was riding towards this place to come and enter the, 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 the new site here. I was hearing the God of choosing, you are so good, verily, 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 you are so good, verily, verily. The voices that was singing this song was well tailored. Hmm. It wasn't ordinary human beings that were singing this song. So I was so happy. My joy was overwhelmed. I was highly moved to come to this place to enjoy the song that was going on. I, I ride a bicycle to this extent, to this crossroad here. I saw Barnabas. When I saw Barnabas, I called him Barnabas. He said, Brother Daniel, continue with the bicycle. I had to drop the bicycle. He said, no, I must complete the circle. I must complete the assignment. I drove to an extent here. I wake up in a dream. Hmm. Hmm. I said, God, what is happening? As it wasn't enough, I slept again. The dream continued. I was asking questions. I said, who is the God of choosing? Then, this big bell, when we were in the church, they used to ring it in the, in the church. A very big bell. 
I had it in my ear. Boom. He said, I am the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Hey! Hey! Boom. I am the God of Moses. I am the God of Daniel. That in every generation, he makes a name for himself. That today, he's known and called the God of chosen. Power! Hey! Hey, hey, hey! Clap on to God of the chosen and appreciate it. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of chosen. Thank you, Lord. That is known and called the God of chosen in this generation. Who? I lost strength. I was crying. I was shedding tears. At the time, I walked towards this way. I came through the other side to confirm that this is the Lord's chosen. I looked around. I saw where it was written, the Lord's chosen charismatic revival ministry. I bowed down my head. Brethren, I am the same man that testified in 2006 when my pastor went to Abakeliki for a crusade. I came here to carry my wife in the old auditorium. When we got to my two, my car ran into a log of water and I stopped. Arm robbers surrounded me with their gun. I told them that I may choose and they should push my motor. They pushed the vehicle. <laughs> I remember this testimony very clearly. Yes. I don't know whether another person remember that testimony. God of choosing is so great. Amen. Amen. They pushed this vehicle to Fabian filling station at my two, a very popular filling station. When they got there, they were begging me to give them some money that they are very hungry. I told them to shut up. Why should they demand for money? They said they were very hungry. I bring some money, some change in my pocket I gave to them. They were quarreling, fighting over the money. The car that refused to start, red red, one hand this vehicle started. Power! And I zoomed off. <laughs> Thank you, Father. We are chosen for God's glory. Brethren, I don't need any other confirmation. I want to tell you, I will die a chosen. Amen. I have made my vow. And what the Apostle Peter told me in the old auditorium came to pass in my life. Hmm. I have seen the persecutions, I've seen the trials, but this great God, this wonder working God, saw me through in all. Amen. Those troubles could not consume me. Those troubles could not weigh me down. I am still waxing strong in the Lord. Hallelujah. Chosen praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to pray for my geo. I want to pray for my geo. The man who brought the vision. I want to say, this God that called you will prepare you and take you to his kingdom in Jesus' name. Amen. There will be no mistake that will hinder you. Amen. God will crush every obstacle. Amen. God will crush every reproach, man-made, spiritually Amen. made, wherever they are coming from. God will crush them in Jesus' name. Amen. God will give you victory in every direction, in every purpose in life. Your children shall be the greatest. Your wife shall be the best. In Jesus' name. Amen. I wish you and your family 